Good morning. Good morning. It's Caitlin with Remax Real Estate Center and Lisa Seversike with Global State Mortgage. Yay! It's a nice sunny day. Oh, and beautiful! It is, and it's a great day to welcome a royal baby. We welcome a new royal baby this year, um, this week. This week, yes, right? Yes, yeah. right. And we just found out the royal baby doesn't have a name yet. Have a name yet? Yeah. I think we can find it. If, yeah. If you. you know that there's a royal baby name, let us know. Let because us know. We're uber curious about that yes you know? and i think there's is it was something royal did you have a royal entrance i did uh, but my royal entrance has a name your royal entrance has a name yes. welcome, welcome. <laughs> <Hatch -hat>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So um, yes, I have a, I'm a new member of my family, and his name is Patch, and I've only had him for about five days. Say hi, <laughs> <laughs> so your first live video, kid. How about that? The yeah. royal debut. The royal debut of a puppy. Yes. <laughs> so what's this got to do with real estate and mortgage lending? I know, right? Yeah. So on mortgage lending, we do not discriminate <laughs> against pets. against pets. Oh, well, that's good. You can live anywhere you want, <laughs> as long as you can afford to pay for it. Right. Yeah. Right. Because those are big bills, but that's a whole other topic. That is a whole other topic. But when you're selling when a you're home. you're selling a home. Yes. There are some things to think about. Yeah, there pets, is. Right? I mean, um, obviously, the safety of your pet. Uh-huh. And the, the safety of the people coming into your home. Right. You know, um, and uh, just on um, general house condition. Oh, you know, right? Because uh, especially puppies, we were just talking mm -hmm. about potty training yeah. a puppy. Mm -hmm. There's and they can do different things depending on how big, what right. type of pet you right. have, and right. exactly. what they can do with those little paws and little teeth that they have. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and he's at the stage where you know it's potty training time, and so I'm taking him, taking him out, right. and he doesn't always do both of those things at the same time. So. <laughs> He has a tendency to hide when he wants to go number two. Yeah. So, so you have that little cleaner, right? Like, yeah. Right like this way. Around the house. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my God, you're behind the TV. I'm going to put you down so you can play. But, um, but yeah, so you, um, you have to be aware of those things. So, um, you know, it, when you're, when you're listing your home and I would look at the condition of your home, is there real evidence of pet? pet? problems mm -hmm. I mean we, I mean how many I don't know I should look at the statistic I didn't even think about that how many homes have pets, pets but that's I, pretty high I would, a big percent I would bet. yeah whether yeah, it's so, a bird oh yeah right a snake one a of our neighbors cat, is a ferret a, a ferret yeah um hamsters yeah. all that kind of stuff puppies. so yeah and if you're like my daughter she always had to bring the pets home for holidays from the classroom oh yeah. right. so we had bird and guinea pigs oh my gosh isn't there somebody else that can volunteer for this? But no. Um, but yeah, so my mom doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So in, in, in my house, you know, obviously right now I've got a puppy that may have some accidents around the right. house. So if you've had pets and you've got some carpet issues, oh. get those cleaned up, get those cleaned, or, you know, you may have replace. to replace your carpet. Um, uh, when I'm walking into a home and you can tell, and there's a little sign there, please take off your shoes. And I see, you know, because cats will regurgitate oh you know. yes yes and you've got little little yeah so you can see things. spots yes. on the carpet i'm like mm, do i really want to take off my shoes right. so you know you want to make sure that those things are cleaned up and scratched woodwork you right. know i've got a you know from a previous puppy i have some scratched woodwork that at some point i'll have to have mm -hmm. taken care of so you want to get those issues taken care of and also you know kind of clean up where the pet lives you yeah, know yeah. in your house yeah um and if your pet is the ideal thing is when your house is on the market um is to remove the pets for the showings oh. because you don't want to stress out your pet you don't want to um uh you know some some people are just very phobic about pets mm -hmm. you know and if they're not a cat person they're not a dog person they've had issues or they're allergic oh right you know i mean we don't want to hide that you have a pet right but you don't want them to, you don't want them to be a distraction during the showing period if at all possible um, one of my uh, unfavorite stories is showing a showing a house and on the sheet it said um unfriendly cat or something like that will be on the porch okay uh, well, the porch was open to the house, so it really wasn't an enclosed porch. Right. And so we're looking around the house. I'm kind of keeping an eye on this cat as you know we're walking through, and we're down in the basement. We go to come up 
the steps from the basement, the cat is standing at the top of the stairs <laughs> and would not let us up. I'm like, oh, for the love of Mary, what am I going to do now? So I'm taking my listing sheets I have with me and I'm holding them in front of me, you know, as I'm waking my way up the stairs the to get by the cat. So I'm like, yeah, you don't, if your cat mm, has some issues, right. then get the cat out of the house for the showing. Right, because you don't want to be like, oh, I'm seriously interested in this house, but I just got a really bad vibe. Well, yeah, place, right? exactly, or, because you're distracted. You can't right. look at the house if you're worried about where the cat's going to scratch you, which it actually did, by the way. So, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. that's a really unfriendly cat. That was an unfriendly <laughs> cat, yes. So, um, but, you know, and, and, and dogs bark, well, you know, and not only the interior house, but the exterior of your house, too. Oh, the right. yard, yeah. So clean up. Yard. Yard, because when buyers are looking around Little your dog house, lines. <laughs> yes, you got you don't want to you got to step lightly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So and do some treatment on your lawn, you know, because oh. obviously they they leave, you know, right the mark. The, yeah, grass exactly. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. So it's fine to have pets. I mean, that's not an issue. But when you are going to sell, you want to make sure that you take steps to, um, you know, prepare the home. Um, you know, clean up the toys, clean up the pet area. Um, if you can please take the pets out of the house during showings. showings. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but as far as being able to buy one, you know, can you, you know, can you get a loan for a dog? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, gonna... With somebody else, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a real expensive dog if you get a loan for it. Yeah. Wow. There are yeah. expensive pets, but wow. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think, though, there's, so I think different areas, I know that people in their buying house, right, they're, like, looking for a yard. Yes. I know I have somebody that's <clears throat> just moving from a house to a house, and mm -hmm. he's excited because the, the house is a little smaller, but the yard mm -hmm. is bigger. bigger. Um, and there's... Um, and I know, so the difference, I think, too, so I live in small community, mm -hmm, Iowa, right? right? Um, we can put a fence up if we feel like putting a fence yeah. up. But I know an aim, so I think if you're buying, too, yeah, you have to if, watch for that. If, if the yard doesn't have a fence, you have to actually submit a permit, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah, I've heard different things yeah. from different people that that can be a hassle. It can be a hassle. <laughs> you have to watch where your um, uh, lot, lot line lines are, are right? right? Exactly. Now, if your neighbor's all are fenced in yay for you Woo! because you just have to connect to the sides of your house but um you know in our case our current home we put a fence up mm -hmm. and then when the house next to us sold the um our neighbor came over and says i think your fence is on oh. my lot <laughs> really because we you know walk, look well there's a missing pin oh. lot pin and so we actually had to move the there's side fence. fence yeah not a big deal i mean he just came right. i think you're on our lot and right. we were right so we had to have the surveyor come out so you do have to watch on that so you do have to be cognizant of where your lot lines are whether you can have a fence in your neighborhood if there's any restrictions some neighborhood some neighborhoods have restrictions on what type of fence oh yeah so like um northridge heights for example in ames you have to have those white you have to have a white vinyl fence oh, oh. you can't have a wood fence you can't have a chain link fence it has you have to, to be have a like white vinyl, white vinyl fence. Mm -hmm. right is there any um when you're buying a townhome or mm -hmm. a condo, right? Is there restrictions on pets when yes. you buy some of those? There are. Yes, size of pet. Oh. And number of. Oh. So most of them will have a limit on number that you can have and how big they can be, particularly on dogs. Hmm. I mean, you don't really get fifty-pound cats, so that's really not an issue. <laughs> I don't but, know. Angie's got a fat cat. Yeah, that I think Plus might be pushing it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can't have big dogs typically, okay. and then of course you can't put up a fence if you have a townhome or condo. Oh, right. Because it's common ground. Mm -hmm. You know, your maintenance fees pay for the care of the lawn, and so you right. can't put up a fence to restrict that. So occasionally you can find where they'll let you put up an invisible fence. Oh. But really read those covenants carefully. Right. If you have a pet and you're buying yes. a condo or a townhome, you really yes. need to check out. Those really covenants. need to check out those restrictions and you know and when you're buying a condo or townhome and you don't have pets oh you want to know if your neighbors right. might want to know if right because of our out. common walls so right. yeah yes. something to be aware of so right if you yeah. gotta... <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning yes. <laughs> and you're not a day sleeper right. <laughs> that might be a problem <laughs> You might so, have yeah. good relations with your neighbors. You right? do. You do. You might get along with them just fine. Yeah. But yeah, so those are, and you know, in it, <clears throat> if you're looking at, at, if you've got dogs, oh, I have to have a yard with a fence. Mm. Don't limit yourself too much on that. You know, pricing, get right. some ideas on what a fencing is going to cost you because you may have to put up your own fence in the right house. But, right. but yeah, so we can 
try to accommodate those things. But think about that too when you're when you have pets and selling or buying the considerations on both ends. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's scary because like I think I, we were talking. I think a lot of people have oh some kind gosh. of a pet, whether it's like lizards, which oh, that might be easier because it's a cage. Yeah, and you just unless they get out, then <laughs> I'm not coming in. I don't want to be your neighbor, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the four legged little you yeah. know, feline or or puppy, puppy. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or multiple of. But yeah. Right. So um those are all considerations to um to consider if you're getting a royal baby. Oh, he's sound asleep from the wake him up. And how here. old is he? He's only he's, well, he was born on Valentine's Day. Right. Yeah. Because she like really just got him. Yeah, I did. I just got him Saturday. Yes. Yeah. So he's like, you woke me up for this. Seriously. See? I'm just see him. He's see like, him. Look at him. Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Say, say see you next week, Patch. See you Bye. next week, everybody. <laughs>